scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor, I just want to say thank you. Listen, the Bible tells us about this man called Yeshua, you call him Jesus. He walked upon the streets and within the span of three years this man made such he he literally shook the roman empire those guys did not know what to do the entire crowds and the entire nation was following him and then when he got to john 17 please give it to us from verse 1 the prayer of jesus he spoke these words lifted up his eyes to heaven and said this is the grand formula. You want to see the presence and the power of God in your life, your business, and your ministry. Here it is. Father, the hour has come. And even though we are equal, I submit myself to you as a bride. Glorify your son to the end that your son may bring glory to you. I have learned a bit about God. There is no withholding of his power when there is an assurance that the glory will return to him. Do you know why you keep your money in the bank without fear? Ease of withdrawal. That's it. That you can go to the ATM anytime and slot in your ATM and your money will come out. The moment you are sure that your money will not come out, you will remove your money there. So if God deposits glory and grace and he's sure that at any time he calls for it, it will return as his. You will see a dimension of power and grace and wealth and increase that you have never seen. While we worship him, he's not carried away. Remember, he's the ancient of days. He still has an advantage of age. He, he has studied men through different dispensations and he has archived the deception that is in the hearts of men. So while we are saying, God lift me, God bless me, give me an estate, he says, no. Someone said this already before you were born and when I gave him something, he turned against me. So let me vet the purity of your worship. So the Bible says it this way, Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer yourselves, not your songs, yourself, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He calls it your reasonable or acceptable act of worship. So when you sing, when you give, when you do whatever you do, your heart condition is the tray that carries your worship. Your heart condition is the tray that carries your seeds. Your heart condition is the tray that carries your service. And if that heart condition is not right, nothing on it will be valuable. But let me tell you something, people of God. My God is able to do just what he says he will do. 
there He's got a fulfill Every promise to you Don't give up on God Cause He won't give up on you He's able That's the God that we worship that when we truly become brides in the spirit, there is no limit to his ability upon our life. not allow your pain and your limitation redefine God to you he's proven his integrity through dispensations God is fearfully dependable it is our inability to understand his system the protocol that manifests spiritual things I tell you it is not because God cannot bring the car it is not because God cannot give you influence it's not because God cannot give you the position when you get into that covenant of marriage that I will be a bride and I will remain the bride whether in Shushan or before Ahasuerus I remain the bride God says the deal is done anything you hear the spirit speak speak it to and the Bible says all scripture were inspired of the Holy Ghost it says holy men wrote they were, it was under the inspiration of the spirit so when I open this garden of mysteries and I see it here that no man shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life when I look at it here and it says in Psalms 112 blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever I hear the spirit so I close it and I switch to the prayer mode this is my echo Lord you said this Kapakotoshiata I declare my children are blessed I declare the works of my hands are blessed now I'm not praying as a prayer warrior I am praying as a bride I'm going to call on some brides to pray in the next few minutes if, 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 if you, you have to be a bride to participate in this prayer session Don't give up on God Cause He will give up on you He's able Hallelujah Listen to me This God that we serve Is not a theory That was preserved by preachers No our inability to understand his ways can redefine him in a way that is not marketable our context and our experience can give God an identity that is false this is why when God finds a people that are aligned to his ways he will guard them with his jealousy because there are not many that are willing to go that far to represent him correctly When God found this great ministry, I can tell you, and it is not by prophecy, why God continues to honor your pastor, this matriarch of faith, and God continues to lift this ministry. Here is the secret. He has found a space in when women pray, where his glory and his purposes continue to be advanced without the interruption of ego, without the interruption of flesh the outspoken vulnerability to make the world know that Jesus is the reason for this when Satan wants to destroy you he doesn't attack you he brings you in a position where the spiritual protocol is broken so he leaves you with the laws to fight you and you cannot win against the laws the only thing that can veto the laws are the mercy of God I tell you why you can sow a seed and yet be going down I tell you why you can even be praying in the morning it is the prayer 
of the bride the spirit and the bride businessman hear me you have been praying and doing what you are doing as an intelligent businessman i respect it an intelligent businesswoman but try being a bride and see the power of marriage and what it can do you submitted the contract as an intelligent wonderful experienced woman who read well i salute you but go back as a bride protected by the jealousy of your her husband and watch what god can do my god creator of the universe what can't you do hey what can't you do jesus are there people of faith in this place you're the name above every other name what can't you change what can't you change jesus you are Great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus. We're going to take that song from the top again. Listen, Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Let your faith rise. The name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus. You are able. Great and mighty. Great and mighty. Sing it and see God rising for you in this 10th anniversary. Sing that song over your rent issue. Sing that song over the court case. Sing that song over the barrenness issue. Sing that song over the marriage issue. Kabarus Kabaranta Selepata. The brides are about to pray. You are able, say, you are able. Great and mighty God, you are able. Sing that song over your health, over the doctor's report. Who will say a thing and it shall come to pass? When the husband, the Lord, Yahweh, has not declared it. Sing it over your career. Sing it over your spiritual life. Sing it over your finances. Sing it over this ministry. And the spirit and the bride say come. Please listen to me. Jeremiah chapter 29 and then verse 11. Hear what the husband says. I know the thoughts that I think. That means I am thinking about you. Never forget that. I'm not thinking about heaven. Even though heaven is my throne, the earth my footstool. Don't mistake the glamour of heaven to think that is my obsession. I am there. But I am thinking about you. When women pray, I am thinking about you. And I am not ashamed to let you into my thoughts. The thoughts that I think towards you are thoughts that make for peace. And not of evil. That means never suspect my intention. Do not mistake any evil and accrue it to me. I am thinking about you. But it's not enough to know I'm thinking about you. I need to tell you the content of my thoughts. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. So that becomes a compass of your confidence. You know then that he's thinking about me. 
is thinking about my lifting when you stand before any mountain you know god is thinking about me we're about to pray when women pray not just when women discuss not just when women when women pray can we spend even if it is just two or three minutes to pray because there are things the bride is saying in this conference there are things the bride i mean the spirit is already saying that he's lifting that he's blessing that he's bringing favor did the spirit not say when men say there is a casting down he says thou bride thou bride remember remember there is a lifting up but he's waiting for you the reality has been spoken in the realm of the spirit the earth is waiting for the echo of the bride the echo of the bride speak let me show you where that happened and then we'll pray ezekiel 37 the bible says ezekiel was taken to a valley the valley had bones and he said they were very dry meaning they had been there a very long time you would think that the bones were non-living everything looks dead until the bride speaks and then he said son of man can these bones can this marriage can this situation live again even the prophet said only thou knowest i'm used to the realm of the spirit but as far as this condition is concerned you are the only one who can give a verdict on it and he said let me teach you something prophesy it's amazing that even though the spirit was saying prophesy the bones did not respect the words they kept quiet he said you echo what i just told you prophesy to these bones and he said now i prophesied not as i wished i prophesied under submission i was given an instruction and i subscribed to that bridehood as commanded and the bone said you got it right bones began to be formed listen everything you are looking for is also looking for you hear me let me repeat it everything you are looking for as far as the purposes of god over your life is concerned is also looking for you when the prodigal son was looking for his father he did not know his father was also looking for him he didn't meet the father at home and the father did not meet him with the pigs they met somewhere in the journey so the breakthrough you are looking for has been going around this city searching for you but every time it comes it finds a human being not a bride so it goes back and keeps searching The anointing the unction for the next level has been searching sent from heaven but it's not yet found a vessel that is a bride enough you are able you're the great and mighty God you are able Jesus say after me in the name of Jesus Come on people of prayer say in the name of jesus i decree and declare at this 10th anniversary that the grace for total submission to the spirit of god to the word of god may that grace rest upon me please lift your voice and begin to pray pray passionately pray with fire the grace the grace to return as a bride indeed under the influence of a jealous husband a mighty one at that lift your voice and pray grace the unashamedness to submit to that authority the unashamedness to declare that i can of my own do nothing the unashamedness to admit that everything in my life minus god is ashes and is vain are there people of prayer here? Shalatos kapranda ta shalakata brahasia. Jepros kebatu jazekete. Embratas kaparuko to shoto predekete. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare 
my oneness with Christ through the Spirit of God. This is the basis of my authority. Therefore, I speak to creation. Hear and respect my voice. Lift your voice and begin to pray. I don't speak as one in isolation to his grace. I speak as one who is in unity. Unity with the Christ. Unity with the Spirit. The basis of my authority. The basis of my, my the audacity over creation. Please lift your voice and pray. hallelujah please look at me hallelujah right where you are we are going to pray i like you to lift your hands and you are going to begin to speak to creation realign yourself and work out the purposes of god in my life in this season I don't care what power manipulated you against my destiny. I lift my hands as a faithful bride and I begin to make decrees. Job said, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. If someone praying, lift your voice. Begin to speak to the elements of creation. I command that you hear the word of the Lord. Realign yourself for my favor. In the name of Jesus, realign yourself. Come on now. When women pray, are you prophesying to the north? Are you speaking to the south? Are you speaking to the east? Are you speaking to the west? I compel obedience. I compel obedience to the counsel of God. I speak to the north. I speak to the elements of the creation. Joshua spoke to the sun. He said, stand still. Moon, reverse and stand 10 degrees. Go ahead and pray. I prophesy. I decree as a faithful bride authorized by my covenant with God I command the realignment of the heavens in the name of Jesus I command the realignment of the heavens in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now please listen to me Every next level in your life depends on your encounter with men. Somebody in this city, somebody on earth right now is responsible for the answer to your prayer. Listen, if God says yes and a man on earth says no, the yes will remain in the realm of the spirit. It will take someone to say yes right here. I know that... <laughs> Listen, when God wanted to help men, he did not become a warrior. He became a man to come and help men. Today, he's seated at the throne. He can't intercede as God. So he remained a man so that he can still advocate for men. Only men can be used to help men. Even God did not disobey that law. We live in a world that ignores men and we respect God and we pay for it with the circles of tragedies that happen. Right now, as I'm speaking to you, your prayer request is in the power of someone. We are going to invoke.
Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.